Oh my god, hi! Are you guys excited about back making videos? Because I certainly am, and also it is randomly like 48 degrees today, which feels like spring, honestly, at this point. So this little one right here is running, and I'm gonna take her for a ride later, and I'm so, so excited. Also, I apologize for the weird glariness, but uh, my screen protector is a little bit cracked, so <laughs> we're doing the best we can. Um, I'm just really excited to make this video because these two beautiful, badass ladies, Faye and Alexis, have created this awesome challenge to get girls in the car scene more active and talking about things and sharing why we're passionate about cars and I'm really really excited about it couldn't wait to make this video I've been thinking about it all week but I work six days a week so I was like I'm gonna dedicate Sunday to it when I got some free time so here we are um, the first question that they asked is what got you into cars which is obviously a great place to start and when they asked that or posted about it I was like wow like I really haven't made any kind of post about like what got this all started so I've been really excited to make a video and share with you guys why I am so obsessed with cars so it really all started when I was little like little 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 from the time I can remember I was always just interested in cars like I thought that they had faces which is how I started learning the different kinds of cars and brands and everything because to me they looked like they had faces, so I was interested and like wanted to remember which ones were what. And my dad was really into watching F1 and WRC, so he'd wake up early sometimes to watch qualifying for F1 because you know the time differences were crazy. And back then we didn't have DVR or anything, so you kind of had to watch it, otherwise you're gonna miss it. So I would watch with him sometimes, and I got you know interested in that sense and WRC oh my god by the way if you watch Top Gear or not Top Gear the Grand Tour this week oh my god so on point with the whole like Lancia verse Audi like that was such uh, uh, it was just so cool to watch that they did it really well anyways um so yeah WRC F1 uh racing games are you kidding me <laughs> like I cannot tell you how much time I spent every every game that I played. I wanted it to be a racing game. Like I was just obsessed. I loved it. If any of you out there know what Midtown Madness is, we're now best friends because that was my game when I was little and it sadly like I don't know if it was originally for Windows 95 maybe or something, but I know once Windows got updated like the game never worked right anymore but I still brought it everywhere with me so that I could try and play it and my me and my dad would spend hours trying to get it to work correctly and stuff because it was just my game and then don't even get me started on need for speed like I like the outdoors and everything like I love me some summertime and spending time out in the sunshine and everything but I dedicated a whole summer to playing Need for Speed. Like, that's how obsessed I was. Like, after the summer was over and I was back in school, I was like, wow, I really didn't spend that much time outside. But, like, I was just inside being a dork playing video games. And, oh my god, Need for Speed is like, I could still play that game for hours. So anyways, I was just obsessed with all kinds of racing games and I was just so into it. But, like... I never really thought much of it and I didn't think like I could do anything with that passion of mine like I, I just didn't think of it and I went about my life I was really into dance and everything so I don't know I just never thought I could do anything like I never thought of following through with that like I didn't know what that even meant when I was little so I just kind of knew I loved cars but didn't really express it very much because like obviously most girls weren't into cars or anything um and then yeah I don't know so high school comes around and here is a story for you guys so okay my high school was rumored to be designed by someone who used to design prisons 
so the layout of it was really weird and like didn't really make sense to most people especially like on parents night I had to give my parents like step-by-step -step directions on how to get everywhere because it was laid out so weird and I spent you know four years in high school and the basement to me still like like I have no mental map of the floor plan like it makes absolutely no sense the other floors the main floors were all right I could figure that out but like the basement just my homeroom was in the basement so I was there every single day for four years and it just never it never figured it out it makes no sense but whatever so anyways little freshman Kaylee on literally the first day of high school I got really lost I had a class in said basement and I got lost like super lost because like I said it made no sense um, so I got really lost and I heard all this noise coming down the hallway and I was kind of curious because I was like well I'm gonna be late for class anyway might as well check this out so I heard some noise down the hallway and I started walking and I saw in like big letters across the wall it said automotive and I heard like stereotypical like literally heard wrenches turning like power tools and stuff like that and I was really really intrigued I was like "Ooh, what is that um I think I ran into a janitor or something and he was like are you do you need help like getting somewhere I was like yeah I don't know where like room so-and-so is but um later that day I must have found a teacher or something I don't know who it was I wish I could remember so I could go back and be like what is your deal but I guess it was a teacher I must have trusted or something at the time. I asked her, I was like, oh, like, I saw that you guys have an automotive program, like, what, what is that? And she was like, oh, well, you know, most girls don't really last in the automotive program, um, usually within a month they drop out, it's a lot of guys in the class, and most girls just aren't really that interested in it, so I wouldn't sign up for it if I were you. Like, this changed the whole path of my high school career. <laughs> like, because, okay, at New North, they had, we had majors and minors. So your major, major, <laughs> was um, the main, like, elective that you spent most of your time doing when you weren't doing your core classes and stuff. So, like, I wanted to do automotive. I was so interested in it. But she just, like, I was a little freshman. I was vulnerable. I had no idea what I was doing. So the fact that this teacher was like, eh, I don't think you should do it. Girls usually drop out. I was like, well, shit, I guess this shouldn't be something that I do or try because it's for guys or something. So I got turned away from that. Um, I really thought about signing up for it. But, like, I don't know. Her, just her answer just really affected me because I was so clueless to anything and I'd never been exposed to anything like that before so I was like alright I guess girls shouldn't be doing that so I went and signed up for photography and spent all four years of high school doing that which I loved like I wouldn't like it was so much fun but I mean I just couldn't believe that teacher you know turned me away like that but yeah so I spent all of high school doing um, photography and then crazily enough like so I always had like I said I always had this passion for cars ever since I was little but I never had friends who were into it or anything aside from like my dad so I didn't know people actually were into that stuff and since I went into photography most of my friends were really really artsy and stuff so we like walked everywhere we biked places we took the bus like and my dad was a stay-at-home dad so he drove me wherever I needed if to like to dance class and stuff so I just was not like in the right kind of place to express my love for this stuff so I went on to college and still had this like low-key passion for cars and everything but um never really got to express it and I went to college to become a psych major and I have my BA in that but um Crazily enough, uh, after freshman year of college, I got this random summer job at a boathouse because I thought it would be fun because, I, like I said, I love being outside. I love the summer. So I was like, oh, boathouse, awesome. Like, help people out with their canoes and kayaks and be outside all the time by the water. Like, I was like, sign me up for that. So, crazily enough, one of the supervisors there, 
he was around my age and when we'd be you know when it'd be slow we'd just be hanging out on the docks or whatever talking and we were right by the freeway like on ramps and stuff so obviously when a nice car would go by you could hear that exhaust and everything and he'd always have his attention like right on it he'd like stop all conversation try and listen to the car figure out what it was whatever and then he'd start talking about cars a little bit and whenever it was just him me and him you know he'd talk about cars and he'd be like oh I'm really sorry I'll stop talking about this like most girls get really bored or tell me to stop talking about it so I'll stop and I was like no like keep going I'm really interested like I'd never been around someone who talked about cars like that so I was like no 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 keep talking like let's go tell me everything like I want to hear it so we got to talking more and more about cars and things and he told me how him and his friends they literally just go around and cruise at night no no destination no real goal they just want to cruise in their cars and have a good time and I was like people actually do that like all of high school I'd been like longing to do that and I never knew anyone I never had friends that did that so I just thought it was something that happened in movies and it was just not something that is a real life thing so when he told me that I was like what you guys actually do that and he was like yeah it's really fun like we just I mean some people don't think it's fun but like we love it so we do that every night and we just cruise around and like have a good time and I was like oh, can I come sometime like what this is crazy now the really crazy part is these kids that I became friends with they were a year younger than me and guess what fucking program they were in in high school because we all went to the same high school oh they were an automotive I could have been friends with them like four years ago if that teacher had told me oh girls don't last long in automotive so like it's crazy it was like fate because like we ended up being friends anyways and I it, I had the most fun that summer because literally just hung out and cruised did whatever at night like stayed out till three in the morning just driving around like I was living my dreams and yeah becoming that friends with them changed everything and like it just opened my eyes to the fact that there are people like this out there that love cars and just love driving and cruising and racing and oh, I was so happy and I felt like I could finally express myself and express my passion like what I'm most 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 passionate about so that is kind of how I got into cars and there is much 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 more to the story because obviously that happened in like 2011-2012 so yeah a lot's happened since then and I can't believe it but yeah um I don't know just crazy so I hope you guys enjoyed the story I'm sorry it's a little bit long also I apologize for this glariness the sun's all up behind me but it feels so good because it's warm out finally uh, i'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts uh anyways if you are a female car enthusiast and you would like to share your story please do because it'll be awesome to get everybody talking about it and then we can all be friends with each other and talk about cars and things and be really badass together so that'd be awesome so if you want to share it you make sure to tag Faye and Alexis and I will put their Instagrams down below so that you can tag them and post about them because they're amazing. And the hashtag for this is woman and machine. So you hashtag that so we can all find each other and be friends and hear each other's stories and it'll be awesome. And yeah, I'm so excited to go to Bell right now because it's been a minute since she hibernates for the winter and soon. I'm getting coilovers. Oh my god! I've wanted them for like ever <laughs> since I started racing. So I'm so excited. I think I'm going to order them today. <sighs> so I'm going to drive her while I can because she's going to be under the knife for a little bit. Doing some work to these suspensions finally because she really needs it and I'm so excited. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for... <laughs> listening to this uh little thing if you did i really really appreciate it and i love sharing my stories with you guys as you know because i write novels all the time and yeah i hope you're having an amazing weekend and that you are 
living it up and I don't know I'm just excited to be making videos sorry I'm so awkward I don't know how to end this but I love you bye <laughs>